Hey, what's up guys, Sean here. It's been quite a while since I posted my last video. So sorry about that. Life has been pretty crazy for me as I'm sure it has been for you. But there's quite a few things I wanted to talk about here because today's a very pinnacle day. Uh, today is the day that Congress needs to make a decision, that the government needs to make a decision on what is going to happen to those 40 million people. So that's what we're gonna be talking about, the potential unemployment extension that all of us have long been awaiting for during this time, especially because this pandemic has gotten crazy. It's lasted a lot longer than normal. And just as we were getting ready to open back up and it looked like the, the light was at the end of the tunnel, now all of a sudden it seems like everything's starting to shut back down. So if you're interested in this, make sure you smash that like button because why wouldn't you? Okay, so if we're talking about all this, we have to go back just a little bit temporarily just to understand where we're at. Quite a few months ago when the pandemic first hit, the government issued a mandatory shutdown for about two weeks to hopefully contain the virus, get everything kind of settled so it wasn't gonna spread like crazy, get it under control, then we'd open back up. Now, because of that, millions and millions of Americans were temporarily furloughed, some of them lost their jobs. It's in order to combat that, is, was that the government issued what's called the CARES Act. Now, the CARES Act was launched and it was one of the biggest stimulus packages known to the history of the United States. And there was a lot of things that covered in that, which I have some videos on that below. So make sure that you check those out. But in a nutshell, basically it was a great unemployment package that basically gave unemployment to not only people who would normally be eligible for unemployment, like for those who lost their job or temporarily furloughed, but it also provided unemployment benefits for those who traditionally did not receive unemployment. So this would be people like 1099 contractors, independent contractors, self-employed people, employers, and things like that. So it gave you your, you know, your state uh, benefits. But in addition, it also provided a $600 a week benefit on top of your state unemployment. Now, this was huge for so many people. Now, here's the problem. This is why this is important. When the CARES Act was initially stated, that package was going to be good up until the end of July. Well, it is July 24th and we're ending the near, uh, near the end of that month. And there has still been no progress made on what they're going to do about helping because we are still shut down and things are looking more grim than ever. So let's talk about the four options that may be happening, the likelihood of those options, and what I kind of think is going to be uh, what ends up happening with this. So it's important to understand that because today's the 24th, the reason why this is so important is, is because for every state except for New York, tomorrow is technically the last day that we're going to be eligible for unemployment for that $600 extra week benefit. The CARES Act stated July 31st, but because states are usually paid each week or bi-weekly, and the end of the week is usually Saturday or Sunday, this will be the last Saturday that we're technically able to collect that extra $600. Except for the state of New York, then you have the 26th is when their week ends. But with all that aside, basically this is, this is it. If Congress doesn't push anything, then Bye-bye unemployment for the $600 a week. Of course, you can still get your state unemployment if you are still eligible. Once you run out of funds, it's over. Now, there's like 40 million people that are currently collecting unemployment benefits, and that would be catastrophic if all of a sudden, everybody's just completely emptied out of any possibility of collecting unemployment, and this is still occurring. We're gonna have massive chaos, massive depression, massive recession. So here's the four options that Congress is looking at. And these are the ones that are the most plausible. Number one, no extension, no further unemployment other than what the state uh, is offering right now. And once you run out, you're done. A lot of things go run into this. Obviously the fact that like, there's not really an end in sight with this pandemic. And I really just don't feel like this is going to be a very good option. It's just, you gotta remember, this is also an election year. So whether you're, you know, pro-Trump or you're you know, pro-Biden, it doesn't really matter. Each candidate is going to try to do their best to try to stay afloat and make sure that they are the winning candidate. I really just do not foresee the $600 uh, extension just being completely wiped out. There's no option. Just once you run out, you're completely done. That's going to cause extreme chaos and it's just gonna have a lot of negative outlook. Option number two is because this is the last day and they haven't quite decided it yet, um, they may do what's called like a bridge gap which means they may do a temporary extension, maybe for so many weeks, 
where we continue to collect the $600 a week until they come to a better decision on what needs to be done. The likelihood of that, I do think that's a probable, you know, the fact that like today's the last day, they really need to make the decision to uh, really kind of keep moving forward with this. The Just with the government in general, sometimes they have a hard time you know, figuring this out because you have the left and the right and they always have different viewpoints. They can never agree on certain things. So they may have to create an extension. So I think it's possible. Third option is that they just keep the $600 a week and they just keep extending it. You know, they say, you know what, let's just keep it going. We're going to push it for another X number of weeks, say X number of months until they think there's a realistic chance that our economy is going to be opening back up and we're going to be moving forward. I do not think that while this would probably be the best solution as far as like for people who are unemployed, making sure they still get plenty of money coming in. I don't think this is probably going to happen. The reason being is because if you look at what's happened since the uh, CARES Act was first enacted and all the different acts that have been trying to be pushed in between that time and right now, um, you've had this issue where you have the Democratic Party who has all these different uh, stimulus packages, proposals and bills they want to push to give more benefits, more extensions, more uh, help to those who need it most. Um, the Republican Party has been very anti going with those things because they really wanted to put the economy back up, open things, uh, kind of get things rolling back in place. So they've been really fighting that off. My thought is that their ability to agree to $600 a week and just completely extend it uh, is honestly a little unlikely in my opinion, uh, only because they've just been so firm and so adamant about not providing more stimulus since the last CARES Act was kind of put in. Now this brings us to the fourth solution, which I think is going to be probably the most likely solution. And this solution is, is going to be basically a readjusted amount based on a percentage of your income. It kind of ranges are going back and forth and what could be that potential. But the idea would be that it wouldn't be $600 a week. Maybe it'd be something like somewhere between like 50% of your income, 70% of your income or of the unemployment benefit. So instead of $600 a week, for most people, it would probably be around an extra 200 to an extra $300 a week on top of your state unemployment. So this would be kind of that middle ground area where the federal government would provide an additional fund on top of your state benefits, but not to the extent of the $600. One of the main reason being is that the uh, Republican Party haven't really agreed with the $600 as much because there are a lot of people, you know, in their terms that are making more unemployment than they were when they were working and they just don't feel that it incentivizes people to get back to work. That's just what they're saying. You know, obviously there's all kinds of different theories and thoughts in this. Clearly there's a lot of people who would prefer to go back to work and sure, I'm sure there's some people who would like to roll this out as much as they could. Why not collect money if you can just stay at home and not have to work? But I think in general, most people would prefer to go back to work, kind of keep building, keep growing their life. But because of this pandemic, because of the forced shutdowns, obviously some people have been forced into a situation that they don't want to be in. But with that said, I do think that the most probable thing is going to be that the government probably puts some sort of middle ground where we get an extension. We probably get an extra 200 bucks, 300 bucks, who knows, maybe $400 a week extended for a certain amount of time. So that's my, that's what I think is going to happen. Obviously we'll see what goes down here in a little bit, but I want to hear your thoughts. Make sure you uh, comment below. What do you think is going to happen? Maybe you have an idea outside of this that you think that would be a better idea. Uh, you know, put it down below. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, but if this video provided you value, uh, make sure you smash that like button for me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, it would mean the world to me. And it's my sincerest hope and wish that, you know, you are well, that you continue to stay safe during this time. Obviously it's super chaotic. I really just wish you guys uh, the best uh, in every possible way in health and your finances. Um, and let's see what ends up happening.